Well, some fun, some drama, a little bit of everything on the ice tonight. Let's take a look at some of those scores around. Setters glide into position for the opening draw. The Predators start with possession as we are now underway. The Flames gain possession along the wall. With some open space at center. Calgary's got the puck along the wall. And he takes a shot, and he makes the save. Scooped up along the wall by Kachuk. Gains control of the puck here on the blue line. Receives the pass. And they can't finish that one. Oh, he's going to be kicking himself for that. The play was there. He just doesn't execute that last pass for the scoring opportunity. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. The Flames gain control of the puck. Quick feed to Kachuk. Moves the puck. Nice zone entry from the middle. Oh, they'll want to have that one back. Yeah, James, he doesn't miss that by very much. Really quick release just over top of the cage. With possession along the wall. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Kachuk's creative. He's skilled and loves to try unconventional plays to beat goaltenders. We call this his It's Tricky Zone ability. Yossi's known for making breakout passes. Guys, his Send It Zone ability can spring a teammate into a great scoring chance. I'll be watching these two players to see if one of them can really shine for their team tonight. Guys, back to you. Let's it fly! And he comes up with it. Take it along the wall by Kachuk. Oh, it's a game of inches! And it went the wrong way. Mad for the shooter, and then he doesn't get it on the net. For the goalie, that's perfect. He'll tell you he took away the entire net, and there's nowhere to shoot. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Here's a shot. Misses over the net. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. His reflexes on display tonight. Oh, there's a glove to the face here. He's not going to like that. Nah, nobody likes that. He's really trying to stir the pot here. he goes. That's the end of that spirited boat. That boat was an old-fashioned punch-in-the-face contest, Predators and I don't think the home team side team liked team the results team very team much. For fighting. Zetterberg's known for confusing defenders by spinning away from them and going in a new direction to make an attack. His spin around the zone ability helps him open up the ice and create new chances, guys. The Predators moving ahead. And the intensity starting to ramp up here after that hit. Slides the puck over. Taken by Niederreiter. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Really good work. I like this chance here as they get the puck into a scoring spot. Goal is just better on this time. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. Still looking for our first goal. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Tanev's got it in the defensive end. The Flames looking against the half wall. Oh, a clutch save! Nashville's got possession of the puck. Poked away in the offensive zone by Setterberg. 
Looks to set up at the point now. Turned aside with the glove by Saros. Yossi's moving the puck through his own zone. Across the line from center. Coonan's hauled down. Penalty on the way. And let's see what the call is. Well, this isn't going to go down as one of his favorite periods he's ever played. That's a couple of penalties in this frame. Number 41, two minutes for Trippi. Time of the penalty, 14 minutes, 38 seconds. Duchesne's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Sliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. The Flames win the draw. Zetterberg's back out onto the ice, and they will continue to play shorthanded here. Nashville's got the puck behind the net. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Takes the feed. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Markstrom. I thought they worked the puck around pretty good here. They get a good chance on goal, but not to be. Just here in the late stages of this frame, still no score in this one. Duchesne's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Unloads from the blue line. Oh, he gets a piece of it with the glove. Nashville sliding the puck behind the net. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Inside the final minute of the first here. And here we go. Buckle up. Sends him down to the ice. That's a clear decision there. As always, the guys are up banging their sticks on the board. A little more energy from the visiting team as their guy won the decision. You can see the shoulders just hanging a little bit lower here on the bench. Centers are set, face off, ready to resume play. There's the horn, ending the first period. Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you, and we'll be back with period number two in a moment. Both teams are back at center ice, and we are ready to get period number two underway.
Busy night of action on the ice. Let's take a look at some of the finals that are in from tonight. The Flames took on the Predators. Calgary poked out a victory in a tight one. The Hawks were hoping to play spoiler against the Stars. Dallas toughs one out and pick up the win. As pokes home the winner in the shootout. We got a jam-packed show. We've got a lot more stuff we got to get to, so don't even think about going anywhere. Stay with us. Clean sheet of ice is ready to go. Hi, everybody. James Savalski and Ray Ferraro ready to bring you the broadcast. Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. The Avs take possession here on the opening drive. We are underway. The Flames get a hold of the puck along the boards. And look at this. We've got a two-on-one on target. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. And a stick in the lane deflects that one away. Moves it quickly over to side. Turns it aside with the glove. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Rontanen's is effective at distributing the puck, and his tape-to-tape -tape zone ability allows him to make accurate passes to set up chances, and that's why his teammates love playing with him so much, guys. Here he is from the slot! Tanev's lugging the puck. Carries it in. Here's a short pass to Zetterberg. The Avs have it behind the cage. Here they come up along the wing. Back to the point. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Kachuk. Colorado's got the puck in their own end. Grabs control of it at the point. The Avalanche have possession now. Across the line. He's got the puck in his own zone. And he slides it quickly to Zetterberg. The Avs going to work on offense. And that's intercepted in the defensive end. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Moves it to Zetterberg. Rejected by the blocker. Great heads up play with the stick by Galchenyuk. The Flames gain control of the puck against the wall. Deep inside his own end, right in front. Can he get out of pressure? Nice zone entry from the left. A chance! Boom! Oh, nowhere to go on the play. Can't get it to go. Picked up along the boards by Kachuk. 
steps into the offensive end. Stopped by the goaltender. Tried to pick his spot, but that goes off the side of the net. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Here's a chance. Denies him on the play. Calgary's got the puck. Kachuk's a creative player. His it's tricky zone ability means he's able to get shots by stick handling his way into highlight reel plays. McKinnon's great at making moves at high speeds with his ankle breaker zone ability, and that helps him get in on net. I'll be watching these two players to see if one of them can really shine for their team tonight. Guys, back to you. Stopped by the goaltender. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play. If sure what's going on, freeze the puck. Zetterberg's known to shake off defenders with his spinorama zone of... Lot of John back and forth here. Is there ever? I mean, the guys look like they're pretty agitated. Monahan's won it off the faceoff. And the challenge is accepted. Jill Levesque to step on in here, right? Yeah, this is clearly over, James. It's amazing how the energy in the building can seep away when your guy doesn't do so well in the fight. Yeah, you can hear a pin drop in this arena now. The gloves are back on, the buckets are strapped back in, and we still got a game to play here with an upcoming faceoff. The five minute major for fighting. Time of the penalties, 12 minutes, 52 seconds. In the final moments of this period, and it's a comfortable 2-0 lead we're looking at right now. Calgary's got it in the defensive zone. Puck grab by Tanev. The Flames play it along the boards. Move to the middle, and that's broken up. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Easy peasy right there by Corpusalo. The Flames take it along the wall. Snaps it on net. Goalie with a stop. Zetterberg's able to get the shot on goal. Now he's using his hands for good, not for evil like in the fight. Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. The Flames win the faceoff. First period nearly in the books here. And that'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of action here tonight. We've got lots more still to come. And period is around the corner. Everything old is new again. If you wear your vintage jersey to our next game, you'll receive a coupon for a free burger.
feet of ice. Period two is set to go. Here we go. Middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Into the offensive zone. Chuck can't connect. Up along the wing. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Just trying to make a defensive play here. Pretty good position, but the stick gets into the player's feet, and the trip is going to be called. Guys, we know teams hate taking penalties here, but if you're going to take one, you might as well have the top 10 penalty kill in the league. When these guys get confident, they can shut anybody down. Please, Let's see what happens here. Two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty, 26 seconds. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The Flames lead at 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Swooping in on the attack. Takes the shot. Shot down by the blocker. Slides the puck across to Kachuk. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. We used to call this the tic-tac kaboom. Nice move, but all of a sudden you don't have the puck. And there's the save. Corpus is going to cover it up for a face-off. While his team's ahead, he wants to make sure the pace of the game stays at the level they like. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. Calgary's won the faceoff deep in their own end. The Flames will play from the defensive zone. And a busted stick on the shot. The trainer's already got the spare stick hanging over the boards for him. From the right side, they gain the zone. Oh, and just like that, steals the puck and goes the other way. The Avs pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Couldn't complete the pass. And now it's over to Saad. Calgary's got a hold of it against the wall. Comes up with the stop. The Avalanche have the puck in their own zone. Colorado's on the attack. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. And as he opts to... Ah, he got a little testy once the whistle blown. He's pushing him out of there. Zetterberg's done everything here except pull the other guy's gloves off. Lots of time left in this period. The Flames are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Calgary's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Monaghan's won the faceoff. Colorado's got it now. From the top of the offensive zone here. Shot, and that's denied by Corpusalo. And they'll dump it in. The Avs scoop it up along the boards. Nice pass. Let's see what the officials are calling. No bad timing, James, to take a penalty. I mean, there's no real great timing, but a one-goal lead is not the time. Penalty to number 23, Sean Monaghan. Two minutes for interference. Time of the penalty. Kachuk's a fan favorite because of his skill and creativity. He brings wild plays to life with his It's Tricky Zone ability. And, guys, he's a player that really pushes the boundaries of what's possible on the ice. And no luck on that pass attempt. Sent into the offensive zone. Calgary's got a hold of the puck now. Quick pass across to Lindholm. Slides the paddle in there and pokes it away. Quick feed to Hannafin. Centering pass. How did he stop that one? The 
these are frustrating. You don't get many chances like this. I thought he made a good shot, but the goalie, an excellent stop, beats the shooter. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? Lindholm's won the draw. Along the wall! Redirected completely the wrong way. That's a tough play. You get into this position to deflect the puck. It's coming fast. You want to angle your stick. He just didn't do it right. Not able to connect. Time's up on the power play. Both teams back even strength. Well, they'll have to regroup after that. The power play doesn't cash in. Opportunity lost for them. Calgary's got the puck along the wall. And that pass can't connect. Icing is the call. We'll get a face up at the other end. Kachuk's played so well in this point streak, you know he wants to pile on it. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. It's 2-1. Lindholm's won it in their own end. That win will help them get organized defensively. And he moves it up to Kachuk. Takes it to the front! Oh, that's a big-time save. I think he got it with a toe. Sharp reaction save. Oh, and it goes off the outside of the post. They're still shoving long after the whistle's gone here. Somebody wants to go. Zetterberg's one. And they're going to go. Absolutely rocked down to the ice there. That was a heavy blow, and that is the end of this bout. And here comes referee Gilles Levesque to clean things up. Ray, it looks like they're not done with each other down there. No, they're going to bark at each other on the way to the penalty box, but into the box they go. Time to sit down. There it is. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here, and we'll come back. Third period action next. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? The Avs continue to be close in this game, which is maybe a little bit of a miracle. They don't have very much in the way of shots on goal. Still plenty of time left in this frame. It's a 2-1 game. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Puck scooped up by Setterberg. And a great save! Handles the puck at the point. Too many bodies in the way. And now he passes up to Saad. The Avs move to the offensive zone. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. The Avs get a hold of the puck in their own end. Calgary's gained possession along the boards. Oh, what a stop by Raja! Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Here's look at this. He's calling him out here, Ray. Yeah, he wants to go. He's not very happy. Zetterberg's ready to go. Apparently, the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. Murphy's turning this challenge down. That's not part of his game. Out of boy, good choice. You look at your weight class and think it's a bad idea. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Calgary's got the puck along the boards. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Great poke by Setterberg. Picked up along the wall by Johnson. Colorado's moving it along the wing. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Calgary's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Across the line and on the attack. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Straight up the middle. Here they come. A chance in front. And they can't convert to the play. Handles the puck. You'll need more than that to beat him. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. We got a tie game. Make a change, make a change. Colorado's got control of it now from their own end. 
The Avalanche have gained possession off the wall. Tries to feed it across. Gains the zone through center. Angles it over to Setterberg. Moves it around along the half wall. Oh, hello! Comes up with the puck with a quick steal. Nice flick of the stick. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. Gerard's got lots of tricks up his sleeve, but he tries there to get around the defender. Just can't quite complete the move. Glove save made by Corpusalo. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. In a head-to-head -head matchup tonight, who had the better performance? McKinnon's been buzzing, and he's been rewarded here. His name in the box score proves he's had a stronger night, guys. And the puck leaves the zone. It's a two-on-one rush. Cutting to the front of the net. Sensational stop. Set him to the back of the net for the goal. Yeah, breaks this tie, James. You know when these teams get locked up tight, sometimes it stays that way a long time. Such a strong move to the net. Watch how he gets his body between the puck and the defender. Nobody can reach far enough to get the puck off his stick. And then he focuses it up to get it into the net. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. And there's a shot! What a save! He'll probably kill that one tomorrow. Penalty coming up. Sends the pass over. There's the whistle, and here's the goal. Well, the penalty total's climbing anyway, although I'm pretty sure this isn't the way you want to do it. Two minutes for interference. Time of the penalty, 11 minutes, 47 seconds. The Flames penalty has expired. They now go to work on the power play. And they get that puck down the ice. The Flames have it behind the cage. Now he takes it over the line. Hammers it on net, and he says no! I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Lindholm's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Colorado's won the draw. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Gusev's time is almost done. Some guys shy away at this time. Others, James, they lock right in. That's what... All over the rebound and tucks it in for the goal. Followed through to the net. He picks up this rebound, makes no mistake. Once the goalie leaves the puck in front of the net, the goalie's at your mercy, and he does not miss. The Flames have now jumped out to a two-goal lead here in the back half of this third period. How do you manage these final minutes? Not conservatively. I, I'm just not a believer in it. I think you have to play up the ice, be aggressive as much as you can, in particular as the game's gone more and more towards skill. Colorado's got it against the boards. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Huge steal in his own end. Calgary's worked hard. He's got a step. Oh, wow. I'm not sure I can think of the last time somebody missed the net like that. Well, it happens. You know, it's a lot easier to do than you might think. But Because you're trying to make the perfect shot, and you whiff it. But you don't get it back. You can't do it again. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. one to a close. The Flames pick up another Let's go around the horn and see what happened elsewhere around the NHL tonight. The Flames faced off against the Avalanche. Calgary proves to be a little too much on this night, and they pick up the two points. The Ducks were in a dogfight on the road up against the Blue Jackets. Columbus tore it up offensively, and they easily come away with the win. The Bees took to the road to match up with the Jets. Winnipeg pulls one out in a tightly contested affair. A very special guest drops by on the show, and we'll do that next. A 
Okay, everybody, let's take a quick look at some of the final scores around the league tonight. The Ducks were looking to steal two points against the Blues. St. Louis tightened it up about as good as they can with a shutout win. The Leafs were looking to steal two against the Sharks. Toronto pulls this one out in the shootout. The Senators were on the road to take on the Wild. Minnesota tough this one out and get the two points and the win. We got to take a quick pause for the cause, but we got a lot more coming up on the other side. Stay with us.
Here we go, bragging rights up for grabs on the ice tonight. He's Ray Crow, I'm James Sabolski. Let's do this. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. The Stars start with possession as we are now underway. And they cough it up at center. Here's an opportunity. Grabs him with the glove. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Robertson's an important piece of this club. for him to produce. Kachuk's got that it's tricky zone ability, which is when he uses unconventional moves to create chances. Look out for one of these players to be a big factor in tonight's game. James and Ray, back to you. The Stars are in transition. Knocked away with the stick by Kachuk. And it's a quick pass to Falamaki. Calgary's got it in their own zone. Sends the pass over. Great defensive effort with the stick. Into the offensive end now. Here's a shot with the stop. Markstrom's able to make the save look really easy. Now he doesn't have to deal with the rebound either. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Setterberg's getting two for interference here. He's off to the box. The Stars get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Pretty good chance here to break a scoreless game. The first power play of the game gets your best guys on the ice. The Stars can't convert on the power play. Both sides are back to even strength. These are the power plays that drive coaches crazy. They didn't really generate anything. They didn't force the penalty killers at all. Kind of a waste of time. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Calgary's looking to break out of their own end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Zetterberg's carrying it ahead. Shot from the wall. Denies him, he got all of it. Hey, usually the whistle is going to stop the play. I guess not tonight. Zetterberg's done everything here except pull the other guy's gloves off. Some last-second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. The flip.
win it. Back to the blue line. Dallas takes hold of the puck. Streaking into the attacking zone from the right. Back to the point it goes. Takes a shot. That's kicked away with the pad by Markstrom. Great reach with the poke check. Moves it quickly over to Setterberg. Shot along the wall. Denied by Bishop. Puck battle along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Sagan. Along the wing up the neutral zone. The Stars played along the wing. Calgary's got possession of the puck. Slides it diagonally to Setterberg. Great poke check on the reach. And now he moves it quickly to Hannafin. The Flames move it in. The Stars get a hold of the puck. Here's a short pass to Sagan. To the low slot. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps them at bay. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Dallas leads it 2-0. The Flames win it in the defensive zone. Gets it over to Zetterberg. Here we go, odd man rush here. And he comes up with the save. Bishop's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Calgary's got it, and they're on the attack. There's another for the hit parade. Gains the zone through the middle. That's a textbook save by Markstrom. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Zetterberg's on this penalty minute leader's list again.
wonder if he ever gets tired of running himself into trouble. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. impressed that the shooter would even think to shoot it from there. He makes a perfect shot that the goalie's not expecting. The Flames ready for the faceoff at center ice and narrowing that gap down to one now. Uh, that changes the whole mindset of this game. Now you're down just one. You're in the back half of the period. Oh, right off the knock and painful. He had a mask on to make the save. Uh, we used to laugh about this and say, oh, the goalie's got to answer the phone because his ears are going to be ringing, but I'm sure the trainer's going to check on him here and just hits him right in the face. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. The Flames have answered back in these last few minutes, but still need one more to even the score. Nine. Through center along the wing. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. Calgary's moving it into the offensive end. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Scores! That's just a minute between goals. You wonder what momentum is. Two quick goals will do it. He doesn't miss too many, James. He leads his team in goals for a reason. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Here in the later stages of this period, we are all tied up in this one. The Stars win the faceoff. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that one's turned away. Markstrom's up, still pushing and shoving. The whistle doesn't bring this play to a halt at all. Time for referee Gilles to step on in here, right? Yeah, this is clearly over, James. Uh, you can't touch momentum, but you can feel it. And the home team's going to build a little bit, they believe, after a fight win. Listen to this place. Both coaches seem to have settled down their benches, and both teams are lining up here for the faceoff. Stars penalty to number 16, Jujar Kara, a five-minute major for fighting. That'll do it for period number one. We'll drop the puck on the second period in just moments. Every playoff game, our team store brings you our item of the game. Stay warm and stylish here at the ring with a scarf tonight priced at just $10. Make sure to stop off at any team store here at the arena. Pick up your specially priced item of the game. Our scarf tonight is just $10. Hurry as supplies are limited.
The middle stanza is about to go. The official's ready to drop the puck. Chuck's known for trying just about anything to get pucks past goalies. His itch tricky zone ability means he pulls up highlight reel attempts that people can't even execute in practice, guys. It's really something to see. Puts it on net. Oh, an unbelievable stop by Markstrom. And that's intercepted, and they'll go on the attack. Moves it to Setterberg. Two goals already on the hunt for a third. And that shot dies in traffic. The Stars take it along the wing. And he slides it quickly to Robertson. And makes the save. Calgary's got a hold of it against the wall. The Flames move the puck in the defensive zone. On the attack along the boards. Still lots of time left in the period. The Flames are giving their fans something to cheer about as they lead it 3-2. Calgary's got a hold of the puck. The Flames have it now. Scooped up along the wall by Hannafin. Takes the pass. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Shuts it down. Zetterberg's efforts have to be towards creating offense. He gets stopped there, but I like the fact that he's back to doing what he's supposed to do. The fight is in the past, and he doesn't need to be doing that very often. Puck picked up by Monaghan. Comes up with a stop. Denies him again. Quick reflexes and good positioning to make a couple of stops in a row. Hintz plays the puck. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. He's been in the penalty box so much tonight. I'll tell you where his next seat's gonna be. On the player's bench. He's done. Flames penalty to number 41. Two minutes for tripping. Time of the penalty. Nine minutes, 31 seconds. Centerberg's out of the box, and both sides are back to even strength. Well, not much they're gonna be able to do about that. The power play failed. Now they go back to even strength. Here's a shot. Front. They go on the attack from the left side. Moved out in front, and they can't connect. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. And stirring the pot. Yeah, a little friction, and all of a sudden, guys are getting heated. Zetterberg's looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. Gustafson's not interested in dropping the mitts and going at it. ready to take the draw here on this power play. Backlands recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Here in the late goings of the period, 3-2 is where we sit. It's a one-goal game in what has been a very fun contest to this point. Taken by Gustafson. That's gloved by Markstrom. Flashes the leather right in the slot on a difficult chance. Zetterberg had an outstanding season. He's among the league leaders in points because he can score and he can create off the pass. Yeah. 
Tosses it on to Korianov. Down the right side and into the zone. Picked off by Kachuk. Calgary's in transition. Quick pass to Zetterberg. Denied by the goaltender. Dallas with possession in their own zone. Robertson's got the puck along the wing. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. There he is in front! Gobbles that puck up with his chest. Zetterberg's name on this list is of no surprise. Always a very aggressive player. The officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. The Stars win the draw. Taken along the wall by Kivaranta. Now a quick pass to Greenway. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. He tried to get QQ with it and loses possession. Monaghan's trying a little bit too much there. You're in the offensive zone. Just make a direct, simple, quick play. Probably better off than trying to do what he did there. Kachuk's moving it ahead. And he slides it quickly to Zetterberg. Takes the feed. Can't connect on the pass. Takes it to the net. The Flames gain control of it. Made the save on the play. That pass doesn't go. And there's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. You don't want to go home yet, do you? Third period action still to come. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action ready to go. Here we go. Put up a shut up for both teams here in this third period. We are underway. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? The Stars continue to chase the game. And really, it's kind of a miracle, James, that they're in it. They don't have any shots on goal. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The Flames have a little breathing room here, but not much as they lead it 3-2. Hammers the shot, and that goes off a player. Centering pass. Great save by Bishop. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Some pushing and shoving here, heating up. Yeah, the few words lead to a little bit more, it looks like. Zetterberg's ready to go. Apparently, the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. The setters will glide into the dot. Calgary's won the draw. The Flames have it in the offensive end. Quick feed to Robertson. And that's poked away by Zetterberg. Calgary's got a hold of the puck. Puts it to the front of the net. Nothing. You don't get the puck dead center very often. He's got to capitalize. You wonder if that'll come back to haunt them. Now over to Korianov. Here's a rocket of a shot. Denies him on the slapper. Picked up along the boards by Monaghan. Here they come on the attack. Gets in front of it. Scores! up this rebound here it comes right back into the shooting area and the rebound is put away slides the puck over to Kivaranta the Flames top line continues to feed off each other the confidence of this group is really something to watch they get the puck they know they're a dangerous line and he regains control of the puck passes right to the front and a stick breaks that up great pressure with the stick Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Sent in deep, and the forwards will go to the bench. Calgary's got a hold of the puck now. And now it's to Falamaki. Can't get it to go. And now it's grabbed by Kachuk. Takes a shot and puts it just wide. The goalie was late reacting. If that puck hits the net, I think it's in. Slides it to Sagan. And that's knocked away by Zetterberg. Moves it quickly over Zatanov. The Flames are on the attack. Booming shot, and he stands tall in goal. Picked up along the wall by Zetterberg. Hammers a shot, and that's the hat-trick. Listen to this place. And here come the hats. I love this tradition. Oh, boy, I will tell you. They collect the hats up. What am I going to do? I'm not wearing somebody else's hat. There 
There's a sliver of hope for the goaltender. And he hears the sound of the crossbar. The Flames seem to be playing right to the final whistle here tonight, Ray. Yeah, everybody's having fun. Everybody's getting points, and they are steamrolling their opponent. Feeds the puck up to Kachuk and tries to make a diagonal pass to Zetterberg. Moves the puck along the half wall. The Stars take possession in the defensive end. Into the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to McCabe. Moves it on over to Sagan. To the front! Stopped by the goaltender. He got a little piece of that one. And they won't connect on that one. Calgary's got the puck. Grabbed along the board by Monaghan. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. The Leafs are on the save-the-date calendar next for these guys. Yeah, fans of both teams will really look forward to that matchup. It's generally a pretty aggressive game. Never an off night in this league. Carlin Bade is standing by with who she thought had the better performance. Kachuk's helped his team out by getting in on the scoring. He's had the stronger performance, in my opinion, guys. Calgary's won the draw in the neutral zone. Blistering shot! What a stop as he puts out the fire! Zetterberg's become a 200-foot player. Coaches love to talk about guys that are effective in both ends of the ice. If you are, you'll be on this list of plus-minus leaders. The Flames will go to work here in the offensive zone. Textbook stopped by Bishop. Oh, he's trying to box him out. This is getting a little testy. Zetterberg's done everything here except pull the other guy's gloves off. More than half the period has expired. Calgary's got a two. Tensions rising. Didn't take much to get this heated up. It's go time. Sends him down to the ice. That's a clear decision there. Well, that'll do it as they ride him off to the penalty box, each to their own bench to sit for five minutes. I hope he can get a drink of water. Last time in there, the bottle was empty, which really must stink. You know, you're tired and thirsty, and now you get a bowl of dust. You don't miss a thing, do you? I, I, I never was in there. Yeah, the bottle was empty. Was there any volatility in the standings?